Welcome back to the Mega Man Zero Four Hard S Rank Challenge, part number nine. It's time to go back to the main stages. We had a nice little intermission with two stages. You know, we had to take on Craft and then go to the prison. But now we're in the hibernation chamber, which uh, I thought this was going to be one of the hardest of the eight main stages, but it turns out it's not at all. Uh, for the next four stages, I pretty much just did them in random order because I thought they were all going to be, you know, equal in difficulty, but that turned out to be not true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the easiest one. The level is just full of your standard purple uh, enemies, you know, the standard enemy you see in every level, and they can be easily defeated as always. Uh, here's the mini boss of the level. It's this garbage disposer thing. I like to call it that. Uh, it's going to shoot out these circle enemies, but don't worry about them. Just jump over them, avoid them if you can, and just hit away at the boss. Try to hit three of the four parts of the boss, you know, for maximum damage. If the circle enemies do get near you, you can destroy them in one saber swing. So keep that in mind. However, it's a pretty easy mini boss, and it should go down pretty quickly. Um, there's a few other enemies in this level. There's a bunch of metools, which go down very easily. They'll even go down in a charge shot. Um, this elevator section, you have to hit the switches on the wall if you want to go up. So just shoot some pellets in the general direction, and, and you should hit it. And, uh, make your way up. The time limit for this level is pretty generous, so don't rush. I found that the time, or I found that I just wasn't getting near the time limit during most of my attempts. Like, I was just, I was before it, I was going pretty fast. You know, I didn't think I was going that fast, but maybe I was, I don't know. In this section, watch out for the purple energy balls. They can hurt you, but if you just stick to the ground, you should be okay. And uh, you should make it to the boss room without taking damage, you know, most of the time. It's not a hard level at all. However, Fenry something something is a hard boss. He has quite a few attacks. Sometimes he'll jump up into a ball and uh, hop around the arena. Which, uh, the floor of the arena is made of ice, so watch out for that. Use the dash when you can, because walking is kind of awkward on the ice. Uh, other times he'll try to stab you, just jump over that, it's a simple attack. Sometimes he'll summon ice clones of himself, which will follow the same pattern every time. Just hug the top of the wall, and you'll avoid it no problem. Sometimes he'll shoot some energy waves at you. Go to the top of the wall to avoid the first one, then hop down to avoid the second one. And his final attack is this triple attack. First he'll shoot, or he'll come towards you, then he'll go diagonally, and then diagonally again. It's hard to explain, but just watch the video, do what I did, and uh, yeah. I'm surprised I beat this level without taking damage, but it's a perfect run, a 100. So uh, yeah, I thought I did pretty good. A 100 is always good in my book, it should be good in everybody's book, but uh... I'll see you in part number 10.